Wow, it's great. Okay, I've um I've repaired my uh, son's poof that I made for him and I've covered up the repair stitches with this button in the middle. It's not the button I spoke to you about um, from Mandy Shaw. I have no idea where it's come from and it actually says a funny scat on it. I have no idea where that has come from or what it means but I think it looks quite nice on there, do you? So yeah, my son's really happy that uh, he's got his poof back. Now there are two, a few more to go. Here I'm just pointing out that there's some fold lines that you probably can't see on film so I'm just pointing them out to you. Now I begin to fold in all the corners on this side and then I flip it over and do the other side. Now I fold it in half to crease it and then I flip it the other side and fold it again. Now I flip it over so you're on the underside and I get some paper clips and I clip this down. Um, where I found out about this technique, they didn't use any paper clips but it's just something that I thought um, helped keep it together. 
then you'll flip it back on its right side and you might have to just fiddle around a little bit to get it in place and then you're ready to put it on your plate. Job done. I love him, Jack. Thanks. I think the orange might have been a better nose. It, it looks like a bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First ever snowman, so it's not that bad. Do you know what? For a first ever snowman, that's pretty fantastic, Jack. <laughs> it could be a penguin, <laughs> a snow penguin. Yeah, it could. Mm -hmm. Huma said, no more, thank you. That's too much thread, so <laughs> I've got to empty it and crack on. That's looking a tad better, so attempting to put that back together and carry on back in my craft room. It's it's the morning of Burns Day, and this is what it's looking like outside. Beautiful. <laughs> I went to preheat the oven, but there looked like there was a bit of uh, dirt at the bottom of it. So I put it on a pyrolytic clean just for one hour and it's just finished. So I'm just checking it now. I don't know if it's going to open. Oh no, it's still locked at the moment, look. It doesn't let you open it for a little while. So I'll wait for that to finish and then I can open it. And then I can see, give it a little dust out and then I can get the oven on. I've come back to check the oven and the uh, lock sign has gone off so let's have a look see how well it's cleaned it yeah so look it's just turned the dirt that was at the bottom to dust look see this <laughs> it's like that look sorry if the camera's going around a bit yeah look how clean that is I wish I'd have shown you the before shot actually but there was a big black bit all over the bottom it's just disappeared it's great isn't it Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping this long and watching. I think it's about seven minutes or something worth of footage where I haven't even sp really spoken to you. It's just been bits and bobs. But thank you for sharing my build up to uh, Burns Day. It's actually, um, it's actually Burns Day today. And I just thought we've just had uh, our lunch and um, cleared up, had pudding and cleared up the best we can until the dishwasher's finished. And I just thought I'd stop by because everybody, it's like Christmas Day, you know, everyone's had a, a tummy full of food and they're just all just crashed on their beds. And my poor youngest son is having um, to do uh, actual classes online. Um, but there was his online classes, um, they kind of had a bit of a break and he's got to go on the portal so he can kind of do it in his own time. So the poor lad now, he's back on online lessons and he just wants to crash, I think. <laughs> I feel, feel a little bit bad about it. I'm wearing the hat that um, I bought from a husband from Amazon. It wasn't expensive. It was only about one pound something, but I've since gone on uh, back on there and I think they've gone up by two pounds something. I do find that with Amazon as much as I like it. Sometimes if there's a bit of a demand for something, the price does go up. And uh, it is quite funny, look, it's got the uh, the ginger hair coming out the side. I said to my husband, said I've been trying to get a bit light and going, what do you think? <laughs> You know, so uh, but I thought I'd come on and I thought I'd have a bit of a giggle and put it on for you. And I've got my outfit on. I will admit, I did meet my uh, my my main meal in it. I put it on when I was having my pudding, but I was just so hot. Do you know when you've been cooking in the kitchen? 
and you're just like running around and I'd have probably got filthy anyway but yeah it was crazy but the haggis we had vegetarian haggis and the reason I bought that is I just thought it might be a little bit more appetizing you know like for fussy eaters you know what kids can be like and uh, it went down really well actually and I, actually I really really enjoyed it you know so uh, I think I'd definitely have uh, the vegetarian one again I have had proper haggis and I did enjoy that as well so yeah it's it's quite exciting because we we haven't always celebrated Burns Night and uh, and you may know that I'm not Scottish I'm half Irish half English born in England and I live in the town I was born in but I've got um, uh, quite a number of family that live in Scotland on the Isle of Arran some of the younger ones have now moved on to the mainland and uh, and it's just kind of you know a little bit of connection with them and I have been uh, to Scotland a number of times and I do love the culture and everything and it was just something I started doing on a really small scale and uh, and each year it's just got bigger and bigger I find this um like with Halloween um like I've always celebrated Halloween as some childhood but it just seems to get bigger and bigger every year for us and I suppose it's like with Christmas isn't it when you first move in with a partner when you, or you leave home you don't have many things do you and you build them up over time so each year I think Burns is going to be a bigger and bigger thing for us so yeah it's quite exciting now you haven't seen any sewing so far and I really apologise about that the only thing I've actually sewn is my auntie right that contacted me saying can I take four inches off my nan's dressing gown because my nan is my nan is the same age as the queen so and my, they, and everyone says she's shrinking bless her I love my nan and uh and basically I've just taken it because my aunt is a bit worried she might trip up fall down the stairs so all I've done is I've lopped a bit off and I've used my regular sewing machine and I've done a zigzag stitch I use quite a thick needle because it's fleece um I did attempt sewing it on my cover stitch machine but the needles that are in it and the ones I've got are very fine and it, and it worked lovely I tried it on a test piece on a single piece of fleece it stitched lovely but when I tried to double it uh it was getting all loopy underneath and uh so yeah I, I was gosh i thought oh gosh um i thought i'll have a little go see what happens and it did it went all loopy so i have had to get my husband's beard trimmer so this is a trick if ever want to get cover stitches out go on the back be a trimmer and a be a trimmer to be off and I just thought you know what what the hell I'm just going to use a zigzag stitch and what I've done so I um could get definitely make sure I was getting the edge perfectly I did it from the back so it's all like sealed down now there's even though it's not going to fray there's no raw edge so I hope my nan is going to be really pleased with that my auntie is going to pop round and get it she said today or tomorrow but I haven't heard from her at the moment so that's the only only actual sewing I did I was attempting I came in here last night my husband was watching football and the first half I was feeling a bit tired but the second half um I, I just came down he had a bit of energy I thought I'm going to trace out my South Bank sweater but it didn't end up happening if you watch my clips and you saw me vacuuming that's what I ended up doing I ended up vacuuming the craft room floor because when I went to attempt to uh, repair my son's poof that some of the beans had fallen out in here and they were everywhere so I ended up vacuuming and you know what it's like once you start vacuuming you end up on the floor picking pins I ended up tidying everywhere the only place I kind of didn't do is this one little tiny area but I vacuumed everywhere and I ended up sorting loads of things out but I feel so much better for it there's a few things on the desk that I've picked up off the floor that I still need to sort out but yeah this is my next plan my South Bank sweater I'm a little bit disappointed right because it is really infuriating me I keep seeing people posting their hoods and pants on Instagram and it's driving me potty because I ordered fabric to make the hoods and pants they would have come in really useful over these last few weeks being in the house and things and um, the fabric it wasn't going to be right it wouldn't have the recovery so we ended up making uh, the toaster sweater version 
Sharon too with it, if you remember me telling you about that. I ended up, and remember that that's why the sleeves were a little bit too short, because I only had 1.4 metres of it, and the uh, pattern calls what for 1.5, so my sleeves were a little bit shorter. Anyway, um, so I ordered more fabric, and I've ordered, hopefully, enough so I can make the hoods and pants and the billy sweatshirt. I've made the billy sweater dress, which I've shown you in that glittery lorex, but I haven't made the sweatshirt, so I thought it would just be a really nice, comfortable, lounging thing to wear. But I've ordered it from myfabrics.com, I think it is. But I had a look, and they've got a British flag on the website. But that did, because the only reason I looked at that is because the last time I ordered from them, it did take a really long time for the things to get delivered, and it was my first time ordering from them. Anyway, I've had a real good poke around, and they're actually in Germany. So I emailed them because I've been given a tracking number. Nothing is happening when you check this tracking number. And apparently, I think uh, what they've said is, I've got an automated response email back, that they're not um, a lot of deliveries to UK are being stopped and getting returned to them. But what they will do, they will send them out at the, at the you know, as soon as they can. And there won't be any, like, um, additional charge for delivery. So... Yeah, so I'm like really getting a little bit fed up. It's not like I haven't got anything to do because I have got my, I have got this to do. And do you remember that fabric I showed you? I haven't got a photograph of it, so I can't put it on the screen. And I'm not going to get the fabric from over there. It's over there under something. But I'm gonna, I might have a go at making that jacket that I spoke to you, that jacket that's going to be a bit out there. And I'm and I can make it ice skating anyway, so it won't matter if it's a bit too out there to wear on the streets kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, so I've got some little things. I know that there's other things that are not dressmaking, that I probably could whip up with things I've got and uh, and there's loads of other things that are not dressmaking that I'd like to do so I'm never going to run out of things to do but you know when you really want to make the hoods and pants and you just, it's just not happening I'm thinking I'm not destined do you know what's going to happen I'm going to make them I'm going to hate them aren't I I'm going to think why, why did I worry about it anyway so yeah so that's where I'm at at the moment I really want to do this and I really want to do something that's non-dressmaking when I've done this I'm going to definitely do something non-dressmaking i've got a couple of ideas but i'm not quite sure so i'm not really going to say anything so um yeah i hope you like seeing that tiny little bit of footage of holly and rafe i've not i've posted a photograph of holly yesterday wearing her collar uh because she, not a video it was just the photographs on uh, instagram it would have gone over to facebook uh onto my facebook a page which is periwinkle cottage crafts um yeah because it was holly's ninth birthday yesterday so i let her have a collar a day early i did because i thought oh that's kind of tight i'm still going to make something else um because rafe's birthday is big, uh, near the start of february so we'll, we'll probably celebrate the dog's birthday separately but uh how nice for holly to run around in the snow uh, rafe was okay in the snow yesterday but um, he wasn't too keen, not, no, not yesterday, the day before, but yesterday the snow was really, really thick and he did have a little accident indoors actually. So uh, yeah, he's not overly fond of the snow being this deep, but when there was little patches here and there he could go, he was a little bit better with it. So um, what I'll do is, uh, while I'm sitting here actually, I'll post some photographs of the dogs um, you know, I know you've seen the little bit of footage of them, but I'll put put the pictures up of them, and they look a look adorable, don't they? Uh, I would like to go out. It's really, it's really snowy outside. There's no more snow, but it's still really thick out there, and it's really sunny, but it's not melting. But I think the temperature is going to rise tomorrow, and I think it's going to get to ten degrees. So I think we're going to be in a slushy, horrible mess tomorrow. But the temperatures are going to be dropping again here at the week weekend so we'll just see what happens so it actually it actually felt like a Christmas dinner really sitting there in the conservatory at the table uh, with all tartan theme things and snow outside and you know what it was such a giggle um uh, doing the jokes um, I only told one joke and it was about um about a fish my fish can break dance but only for about 20 seconds and you know kind of thing a bit of a you know a bit of a dark one really but uh but yes I, I did notice the boys they were uh they were like the very dark jokes 
uh, there's a few, like my husband was so funny, he was getting ones off his phone and he was reading these jokes out and he said, and they were a bit, I was like, really, you know, with the boys, like, yeah, I think I should have read some of these actually, before I started reading them out, yeah, some of them was a bit, but we have had a giggle, you've just got to sit on the funny side of them, haven't you? So yeah, so I said, oh, why, why don't you look for some, uh, you know, the English man, the Scottish man and the Irish man kind of jokes, and believe it or not, my boys, they didn't know those kind of jokes, you know, we were kind of put up with those jokes, and obviously the, the Irish man always comes off worse, doesn't he, the poor Irish man, you know. You know, <laughs> they don't pa paint a, you know the Irish in a good light, do they? Really, these jokes, bless them. <laughs> you know, it doesn't do me. It's you know, I'm half Irish. My dad's Irish. You know, so I I think I can have a laugh at it, can't I? Really. So, and my next door neighbour, the the lady's Irish as well. So uh, their children are half Irish. So yeah, so my kids are only quarter Irish because uh, you know I married uh, my dad obviously married an English woman and obviously I've married an English man so, uh, so there you go so anyway I'm going to pop off now uh, this video is probably going to be quite a bit shorter and no actual sewing but I really hope you enjoyed um, everything that I've shown you um, leading up to Burns Night and I hope I've given you a little bit of inspiration maybe it's something you might want to do in other years you could start small and just make Scottish tablets or something or Scottish pancakes or you know make some tartan placemats like what and actually I said to you in a previous video I think I made them last year when an old post came up do you know what it says you like your memories and I definitely got them two years ago so they could be older you forget when you make these things really don't you I think um, you know I certainly do so uh yes yeah, so that's what's going on at the moment I really really hope to be back in here doing some sewing soon and I hope you're getting some time this is the perfect time of year for doing crafts isn't it and I've had a bit of a cop out um I've ordered um a couple of things for my husband for valentine's so it's kind of one of those if I didn't have time or didn't fancy making anything this year I don't have to because I have bought something but um I think I'm gonna make his card definitely make his card and maybe I'll make him something as well and I don't know what I'm going to do about my mum this year because remember me saying about I wanted to make her an outfit but I'm not going to be able to get her measurements and things and want to measure them myself and I can't do fitting so I might be sending my mum money really or something so she can get herself something you know it's a bit of a funny one isn't it really it's a bit grim isn't it so maybe I'd like to give my mum a little something to open you know so yeah so we've just got to make the best of it haven't we so I'm going to be focusing a bit more on now on making something non uh, dressmaking making this thinking about up and coming events things I've got to make things for so that's what's going on at the moment I'll I'll try and keep filming when I think there's anything of interest I'll try and not bore you too much again with vacuuming and oven cleaning but isn't that oven amazing do you know I would absolutely love like an arga do you know it would be like a dream come true that this is like arga that's on all the time so if you've got this urge you want to put something in the oven it's there preheated and things you haven't got to wait but once you've had a pyrolytic oven like a proper pyrolytic one do you know what there's no going back really it's amazing it just it heats up to 500 degrees right and it turns the dirt to ash we well, saw like you didn't see the dirt in the first place if you're interested when the oven gets dirty again maybe i'll show you if you, if you want to see anything like that i'll show you the dirt and then I'll show you the after. It just, it locks and you can't get in it. There's a one hour setting, a two hour and a three hour. And it all depends on how, you know, often and you do it. I, in all honesty, I just wait till I, uh, do you know, sometimes when you put the oven on and it starts smoking, you think, oh gosh. Um, I tend to do it and it's a bit like that usually. Um, but I put it on setting three, but uh, I'd only do it on what, setting one and it was fine. Do you know what? I don't think I need to put it on the three hours because it doesn't really get that bad re usually only if it starts like smoking if someone spilt something in there and then you preheat the oven and it smokes the whole kitchen out so yeah so that's what's going on so if you're inter ever interested in that 
I will show you that. Um, and what's actually, I wanted one of these ovens for ages. I'm going back to the oven. I really wanted a sliding door. And when those ovens were first around, you couldn't have both. You had to have a sliding door or the pyrolytic. You couldn't have both. But this, it does both. The only thing I'd say about the sliding door is... Do you know when you always are taught if you don't want to let too much heat out the oven, you just open it a little bit and you can kind of leave it there. You can't do that with that. If you open the door, the door is opening. But, it, you know, if you've left your oven preheating enough anyway and, you, you know, you're quick about shutting the door, you don't lose too much heat. I always have a, an individual thermometer in the oven. I recommend that. Never trust the time that it say, you know, the temperature that it says on your oven. You need to do it yourself, really that's my my opinion anyway so anyway i'm going off again about an oven this is about crafts it's a craft channel i know i'm starting to include a little bit more because i'm obviously locked down you know it's just you know it might be interesting in other things and i have been sharing my burns prep with you so oh that's it the napkins now i don't know how well you could really see that napkin do you know when you get to the bit where you're folding all the corners so what i'm going to do in this video uh, in the description box below go have a look and i will leave a link to another youtube video and it's the youtube video i watch so I could learn how to do it there's no talking in it or anything uh, and there's just some music in the background I think it's like chaturanga you know like a, what would you call it latino kind of music or something in the background but I'll pop that in the description box because they're filming at a kind I thought I'll do it at a top angle because that would be the best but they're filming kind of at the side so maybe that is a little bit better really but this way you'll get to see a bird's eye angle and you'll get to see um slightly at the side kind of angle so thank you so much for joining me today if you do celebrate burns night um or burns day i really hope you're having a good time uh, there has been a little bit of footage here on tv uh, on bbc this morning and a little bit on itv and that was quite nice but the trouble is when uh, marty pello was singing actually on itv and they were doing some recipes and things but uh but the thing the thing i saw on bbc there was some historian trying to say that the Robbie Burns work wasn't all his own he'd kind of taken some of his songs from like poems little lines from his poems 70 years earlier so and it was quite actually it was upsetting actually his ancestors they filmed his ancestors and went to where Robbie Burns was brought up and I think they thought oh you know telling this guy to get a life kind of thing but there you go and uh an ITV they were doing a little thing where Holly and Phil um or wearing tartan and they did some uh, marty pillow was singing uh, and they did some scottish f uh, food like kraken and i'd looked up kraken i thought about making it myself actually and a few other things and um but my uh, when i've got too many things on in the kitchen it trips the switch so it went off about six times i had to keep going into um, one of the rooms downstairs and keep flicking it up and turning everything back on so that was a bit of a nightmare actually um it's not good is it when you're trying to cook a dinner and uh, and i was cooking a lot of different di things for this wasn't i so <laughs> never mind and uh, luckily when that was happening my youngest son wasn't having an online lesson on teams but he couldn't do anything on the portal but um yeah so i've got to make sure i'm not having too many appliances on in the kitchen there's obviously something wrong with the electrics we've had people check it it's two people check it and they they said they think they've sorted it but when um we change we're moving when we've knocked the conservatory down and we've built it back as a brick building the kitchen is going to be going into that and the kitchen where it is now is going to be a sitting area anyway so hopefully we can sort it out anyway i'm going off on one again next i'll be back next time and it's definitely going to be sewing okay i'm going to go all right see you next time bye <laughs>